let's say that I'm trying to convince my, my boy Mateo to stop working on his monkey mosaic. Now, I know better because there's no way he's going to stop when he wants to do it. But let's say I was going to try to convince him of that. Now, if he asked me for a reason, Papa, I don't want to stop. Why should I stop? And I said, oh, Mateo, if you stopped, that would be sensational. Now, he probably wouldn't respond this way, but what I want to point out is, that's not very clear. It's like, what does that mean? That makes no sense. That's probably how he would say it. I that makes no sense. I would say it that way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that's because it's unclear. Or, if I said, Mateo, you should stop working on your monkey mosaic. And he said, how come? And I said, oh, because it would be like living in the clouds. Like, what does that even mean, Papa? Yeah, I would be like that. <laughs> and that's because those reasons are unclear. It makes no sense. Okay, so let's change the example. Let's say that I wanted to try to convince Mateo to stop making his monkey mosaic and to try to eat some meat. Now, you don't know this, but Mateo dislikes meat. He's never eaten it, and I think if he had his way, he probably never would. But let's say I wanted to convince him to eat some meat. And so I said something like, Mateo, you should stop making your monkey mosaic, and you should eat some meat. If I was lucky, he would ask, why? And if I said something like, well, because people have been eating meat for a long time. What I want to point out is, that's not relevant. The fact that people have been eating meat for a long time doesn't address the issue. It's off topic. It doesn't help us understand whether or not he should eat meat. Maybe, just maybe, why people have been eating meat for a long time would be relevant. But just noting that they've been eating meat for a long time doesn't. doesn't actually tell us anything about whether or not Mateo should eat meat. Okay, let's change the example a little bit. So, let's say Mateo's mama gets home and she finds the mosaic all done. And she asks, how did that happen? And I say something like, oh, a little birdie came and put the mosaic together. And his mama said, what? She would probably be a little skeptical. And I said, what does that mean? Oh, uh, it means that she probably would question it. Now, I said, really? It's true. A little birdie put the mosaic together. And she's like, I don't know. And then I said, well, look, earlier when you left, the mosaic wasn't put together. Then, later in the day, a birdie flew into the house. And now you came back, and the mosaic's all put together. So of course the little birdie put it together. This is what I want to point out. Even if all that is true, even if the mosaic wasn't put together, and then a birdie did fly into the house, and then Afterwards, she returned and the mosaic was put together. That isn't enough evidence to know if a little birdie put the mosaic together. You would be jumping to that conclusion hastily. So ask me when we're going to eat dinner. We're going to eat dinner. Today. When today? Uh, this afternoon. When this afternoon? Uh, this year. When this year? Uh, this fall. Which day in this fall? Today. When today? Uh, this afternoon. When this afternoon? Uh, in the daylight hours. Uh, well, when in the daylight hours? Um, this hour. When is this hour? 
when we finish this mosaic. Oh. That's a little clear. Still not quite clear enough, but and getting pretty close. Papa, you don't have to help anymore. I don't? No. Well, I've got these pieces. So we, okay if I do these? Yeah. Okay. You know what's exciting? What? <gasps> Mateo, here. You want to do the last pieces? No way, McGay. Oh, um... You want to do the last piece? Yeah, well, I need Okay. Here you go. Monkey mosaic! Yay! All right, dude. Let's go eat some dinner. Oh, I know, Miss. You don't want to eat dinner now? I want a movie. One more movie. You want to 